This is the Biz News Podcast, one-on-one conversations with experts in business and personal development. Marilyn, uh, I think we ought to get started by you telling our listeners and viewers a little bit about the background of your business, since you've been in it almost since the get-go of social media and and Google. That's true. Um, I have been working in various levels of digital marketing, um, from Amazon FBO to SEO, building websites, all of that. Um, Had a couple of small technology companies. And from working with and referrals from clients, I got into helping with paid digital marketing. And I've been focusing on law firms and local businesses since about 2017, 2018. And primarily we do uh, paid ads such as Facebook and Instagram and uh, Google PPC. And um, based on my experience, I recently wrote a book to help um, local businesses maximize their Google business profile to be found in their local searches and grow their businesses using this free service that Google offers. Before we get into your book, and we'll do that in a few minutes, I wonder if you would uh, give us a couple of uh, instances from your work where you have found local businesses are making egregious errors in trying to use Google or social media. Yes, um, I find one of the the biggest problems is they don't actually complete their Google business profile or they don't have consistent information across their social medias and their website. Um, You know, that's we used to say back in the day, why do you need a website? Well, it's a really long commercial for your business, but it also needs to be accurate. You know, it's and, and up to date. So when things change, so when I see a website that looked like it was built like in the 1990s, it's like, is your phone number correct? Is your address correct? Are your is your team correct? So it makes a difference. It's not necessarily the layout and it looking all perfect and you know like it's been done in 2023, 2024, but it's important to have it accurate. And that seems to be one of the things that's and and you know that people drop the ball on and they because it's just not they're busy doing their business. And what about uh, success? Have you uh, seen small companies grow? Um, greatly larger because they have done it right and tell us what they've done right to do that absolutely especially with um you know with your social media profiles whether you do anything with them very much at all or not it's important to have it correct because people are on social media so whether that's your facebook page um your google business profile all of that needs to have the correct contact information because when people are searching what's the one place we do we go to the google right So what I've seen is I actually had a coaching client come to me and she said her phone stopped ringing about two weeks ago. And she's like, I don't know what happened. So we dove into her Google business profile and she had not updated. There was a couple of little things that just needed to be tweaked. Within 48 hours, her phone started ringing again. So it's an incredibly powerful piece of the Google puzzle that it's important for you to have. Because when people do a search in your local area, Google wants to show them the most, most valid points that they're looking for, you know, the most relevant search result. And if you're it, you need to have the current information there, even your hours of service. What, uh, what got you into this business? Um, a referral from a client. I was doing, like I said, websites and, and working with uh, website marketing and um, just clients asking me to do more. And so it's just got to be a real passion to help small businesses get out there and get their piece of the pie. And as Google, a lot of people don't realize the Google business profile used to be called Google My Business. And that's what they know it as. And that was uh, a couple of years ago, it was rebranded and expanded to have so many other features to it. And I think that's so coming to, you know, seeing the the whole realization of SEO used to be this uh, search engine optimization used to be this mystery. And it took so long to happen. And it still takes a long time. But if you do SEO focused on your Google business profile, it will happen a lot faster. 
you have uh, said phrases there that may be foreign to many of our listeners and viewers. What do you mean by that? Um, SEO is search engine optimization. So what that means is when you look at a Google search, so you do any search for Google, the first three things that come up are going to be paid ads. The next three things are a map pack. So it's a little map of everything near you when you did that search. Then below that are the regular organic listings. So if you're not in the top above the fold, as we say, you're, all, you're not going to be seen. And if you're not on page one, you're not going to be seen, right? I mean, the question is, how many times do you go to page two of a Google search? No one else does either, okay? So when it comes to the map pack, you want to be one of the top three. So say someone's looking for a plumber near me. If you're a plumber that's not paying for paid ads, but you've taken your Google business profile, you've did everything in your profile to maximize it, you've done Q and A's, you've got reviews, and you're putting something on it a couple times or at least once a week, Google sees you as being an engaged user and they will give you precedence in that Google map pack. So that's what we want for our clients is we want to have constant updates. We wanna connect their website to it. You can do a SMS chat widget through it and be the, the business that Google sees that's most uh, reactive. Now, what about the social media? Is it all tied together or can you just specialize in one thing? You can specialize in the Google business profile because it's so focused on Google search, but I think it's equally important to make sure that your Facebook business page has up-to-date information as well. Remember, those are the two biggest sites on the internet right now that, that people are visiting and searching for information. And uh, essentially, they are free to the business, are they not? That's correct. And That's so we, correct. we don't have to uh, shell out a lot of money for advertising. That's correct. Exactly. And the Google business profile, uh, different from the Google My Business, has a position where you can do posts, so you can do short articles. So it's very much like a website, but it's not, right? Um, the Q&A section is huge. So if you... Say you have the same customers have, new customers have the same five questions. You can make that your Q&A section of your Google business profile. You're educating and giving value before someone picks up the phone and calls you. It sounds like an awful lot of work. If I'm a, a plumber or a baker or something like that, how do I carve out the time to do it? And why would that be important? It's important because you can see where people are coming from and you can do it in as little as 10 minutes a week. So pick one thing you want to do this week. I want to add a video or I want to add a photo of, say, my truck at a location or a new service that I'm offering in my business. So you can add that one thing. And by doing one thing every week, Google sees you are engaged with your Google business profile. And the other thing is your reviews. You should respond to every review. Good or bad? Good or bad. Well, that would be very interesting <laughs> for a lot of people, I think, to see some responses for uh, bad uh, reviews, if you would. Well, true, but think about if someone's just having a bad day and they left you a bad review, your, pro your professional response to that will be read into by the people that are reading your reviews before they call you. Now, let's talk a little bit about your book. What is the name of it? The Google Business Profile Training Guide. What could that possibly be about? <laughs> so basically, I go from uh, actually claiming your Google Business Profile, verifying it, and then filling it out to the maximum so that you can dominate your local search. So when you, if you haven't claimed it, you can look up your business name on Google. It'll show on the right-hand side, and there's a little button that says Claim This Listing. Now, the important part is, is if you don't, your competition can. So you want to make sure that you claim it. And when you claim it, they will ask you to verify your business. In many instances, that's going to be a postcard that will be mailed to you. So you get that postcard mailed to you. It has a specific code on it. You then go back in to manage your listing and you will put that code in and it proves that you are who you are. Well, that sounds pretty simple. It's very simple. And then once you have it, you simply put in the top three categories of what you do. So like a law firm, say it's a family law firm, your top category is going to be the most prominent one, which is a family law firm. Then your second one could be um, divorce attorney. And your third one might be 
uh, child protective or child custody, whatever, you know, but prioritize it, but use the top three um, categories that would most describe your business. And then just start filling out something new. Do, photo, do a photo this week, do a little video next week, do an intro video, take pictures of your building, of your team members. Yeah, I mean, think of it as this is getting the know, like, and trust factor of your business out to potential new clients. What would you like to add, Marilyn, that we haven't had a chance to talk about? Um, I think just if I haven't made it clear, it's super important to a small business and a local business that you get your Google business profile and you make it a priority. We all want to be on social media. We all want to get that traffic, but I want my clients in front of people that are searching for them when they search for them. So be that person. And one last thing, what about a way for our listeners and viewers to get in touch with you? The easiest way is to connect with me on LinkedIn, uh, Marilyn Jenkins. And then, um, you know, obviously you can get the book at uh, MaximizeYourGBP.com. And um, you can read about the book. And, and again, the book will walk you through step-by-step step how to get your Google business profile, what to do, and how to, to grow it. And, um, you know, you could always hand that to a team member. There's also standard operating procedures if you wanted to give it to a team member and have them walk through how to do it. But I think it's just in this day and age, your customers are digital. You need to be in front of them when they have a need. You've been listening to the Biz News Podcast. We welcome your input. Send your email to editor at biznews.com. That's B-I-Z-G-N-U-S dot com. Thanks for listening.